Hi everyone. Welcome to Get Python Code. Today I will discuss week 2 quiz answer for the joy of computing using Python. So coming to the question number 1. If a variable is assigned a value once, the value in the variable cannot be changed in the variable. So it is not true. If you assign a value to a variable, it can be changed. It is not permanent. For example, if I took a variable where I store 23, then I try to store 45, then I try to store 89. So if you run this code, you will find that it has taken the latest list, list assignment to the variable. So it should be false. The variable store, stores the value from the latest assignment and you can also see the same answer from the previous weekly quiz. So mark option B for question number B. Coming to the question number 2. Which of the following code block prints Ramesh talk to Suresh and Kamlesh? So I just tried to copy, uh, copy all this print statement and see the output here. So if you will find that Ramesh talk to Suresh and Kamlesh. It is, it is matching for option number 1, 2 and 3. And it is not matching for option number 4 as there is no extra space as given in the question. So question number 2 for question number 2 mark option 1, 2 and 3. Now coming to question number 3. What are not the correct ways to inform Python that input is a decimal point number means you have to input something where you want to work like a uh, you, where you want to see the output like a decimal. For example, if I give input as 12.59 then you can see uh, using the option number B, it is giving output as 12 number 12.59 if I give input as 12.59. But the same thing will not work for other options as if you see question, option number 1, so it is false because we do not have any in function in Python. And for option number B, if you try this one, so if you just try to input the same number 12.89. So it has taken input as 12.89 and now we will try to convert it into 12.89 as integer so it will not work because integer will not print anything about after decimal. So this is false and the same issue you will get for option number D. So that is why these three options are wrong. So, so mark option A, C and D for option number 3. Coming to question number 4, the following program output 723. So first thing is I want to make one thing clear that question number 4 is wrong because this is a function and it will not output anything like 723 as it is expecting it to give some value for container which should be something like this, like list. For example, if you type like this then it will work so you can see it is accepting it is accepting something like list which is not mentioned here in the question and it cannot out even output like 723 you can see the output like it is a list it will accept a list and give output as a list so this condition is not satisfied that is why question number four and five is wrong five is also wrong because five is dependent on question number four so this is wrong and I will inform NPTEL that this is wrong and they will correct it. I mean they will tell either to ignore the question number 4 and 5 or they will correct these questions 4 and 5. So please join my telegram group or stay connected with my YouTube channel so that you can be updated about question number 4 and 5. And one more thing all the answers given here is correct according to me and but then also if there is any change in answer I will definitely inform in my telegram channel link is given in description or I will inform in this youtube channel community tab or in this video description so please check this video description at least on the last submission date so that you can submit all the correct answers so 4 and 5 was wrong now going to question number 6 so which loop is used to perform a set of repetitive tasks without a condition by default in python so you can see i have used for loop and in this for loop is 
working perfectly without giving any condition so this should be the answer now going to question number seven what happens when the condition inside the if and while evaluates to false so if any condition is given inside if and while evaluates to false then it will happen like it will just execute with the next part of the next line it will ignore that part and just execute with the next line so this would be the answer python interpreter ignores the if and while block and proceed the program from the lines after if and while block and you can also see uh, this screenshot has been taken from the previous semester nptl weekly quiz and it is exactly matching with this question so this should be the right answer so question number seven mark option b as answer now coming to question number eight it is asking that this is the given code and they are asking whether uh, it has infinite loop or not so first thing is that this is the code and here they have given n equal to question mark so you just have to replace n with any number and check whether we have infinite loop or not so if you give n equal to any positive number then it will definitely give any output means it does not have infinite loop but it is for the it was for the positive number when you give any negative number for n then you will notice that it has an infinite loop okay so we come to a conclusion that it has an infinite loop now the question should be how it can be prevented so let us try according to option number two it can be prevented by updating the value of a before the e block means they are telling that it can be prevented if we change the value of a in line number three so here a equal, a equal to bracket so here if we change something then it can be updated so if i try like this then then also it will not work so it cannot be prevented according to option number b now if we try it can be prevented by removing put the if blocks inside the while loop first thing inside the while loop we don't have any if block but then so but then also if they're telling to remove if block then we can remove this if block if b not equal to k so let me try that part So I made a, a equal to this as original given in the question. Now I will just try to change in this part. If I will try to just remove the if block as said in the option number three. So I just commented to remove it. Now if I run again, then you will again notice that we again we are again lost in the infinite loop and this will never end. So that is why we came to a conclusion that yes it has an infinite loop but it cannot be prevented so question number eight for question number eight mark option d as answer coming to question number nine let me first stop this infinite loop yes now we are in question number nine i copied the code as given here so for which of the following values of name and age variable does the following code print you are lucky so when we will get output as lucky so we have to try with these options what should be the value of name and age for which it will print you are lucky so let me run this code and check all the options one by one for you so here we have aryan 20 so first we will try aryan a r y a n aryan and then 20 you can see it is showing you are lucky so that is why i marked option a for question number nine now i will try with next option that is arjun and 19. i gave arjun a r g u n and then i gave 19. you can see it is not printing anything so we are not getting you are lucky now i will try with akash 16. double a k a s h akash then i have to give 16 yes you are not lucky so it is giving you are not lucky and we wanted you are lucky now i will again try with anand 18 a n a n d anand then age is 18 i gave 18 you can see so you can see that we are getting you are lucky for rn 20 and anand 18 so mark option a and d for question number nine now coming to the question number 10 for which of the following options the program does not print anything so it will not print anything for arjun 19 let me show you once again 
so i will enter arjun and then i will enter 19 it will not print anything you can see the code has ended and it is not printing anything so for question number 10 mark arjun 19 as answer so i hope you like this video please like comment and subscribe thank you